Hello, it's Craftyria. Welcome to my video. They say the best things come in small packages. So today we're going to make some small cards. I had these three cards in my stash. Well, really I had two and then Linda sent me this one. So I thought this would be a perfect video to just use these small cards. I happen to have a bunch of envelopes that fit the card base size of five and a half by four instead of four and a quarter. And these ended up being the perfect size for these cards. So let's go ahead and see what we can do with these cards. I'm going to set these two aside. We've got this snowman with our mean Santa with wonderful red glitter. We have these two snowmen that are just very glittery. And then we have this cute little penguin. I went through my stash and found papers that I thought would match. This one here is a shimmery blue. I know the camera doesn't really pick it up, but it's a shimmer paper and it's a really good color blue for him. And I cut a piece to size and ran it through my die cut machine with this embossing folder. So then we have this. And I thought it would be really a pretty background to have him on some snow. And in case um, any of you are up north right now, we are in Ohio and it is snowing. We're supposed to get a lot of snow overnight. At least on the day that I'm filming this. I don't know what it's going to be like on the day that you're watching it. But we shall see. So I cut I trimmed this down after I embossed it to be just a tiny bit smaller than the card, maybe about a sixteenth of an inch on each side. But before we adhere it to the card, I want to make the snowflakes pop. They already look kind of cute, but I experimented on this and you can see those snowflakes are a little whiter and they pop a little bit more. So what I'm going to do I couldn't find my sanding block, but I have a bunch of nail files. This is just a cheap nail, I think they call it a buffer block. I got it on Wish or AliExpress in a whole big bundle. They're very inexpensive and it works wonderful. So I'm going to go ahead and just sand this down and um, I'll probably speed it up and mute the sound because that's an awful sound. Okay, here we go. Okay, the key to doing this is to make sure you keep this flat and not um, on an angle. Otherwise, you will end up embossing or um, sanding off the flat parts of your paper. And I really only needed to do the edges. I didn't need to do the inside since that's going to be covered up by the snowman. So let me just wipe this off, get all this dust off, get my paper towel and just dust it off. And I did tear that end a little bit, but I'm gonna glue it down and I think it's going to be okay. I just have to be really careful with it. I'm trying to decide if I should trim off that edge. I don't think so. I think it'll be okay. I'm gonna go ahead and use my tape runner. And I'm going to use a little bit of this art glitter glue up in that corner just to hold that loose piece down. Just a drop. There, and since it's part of a snowflake, you can't really even tell that it came apart. So we have this little guy that I'm going to put on the front. So I'm going to cut the front of the card off as usual. And since the back is blank, that would be a good piece of cardstock to save 
to um, do some rubber stamping on. So I'm going to put him down in the middle and then I'm going to do something that's going to jazz him up a little bit. I'm actually going to put two layers of tape around since it is an embossed surface and the tape is, might not contact the entire piece. That way I get a better chance of it adhering really well. I'm just going to push it down really good to get it to get it on there. Okay, and that is stuck down really nice. So I have I have this bling, these gem gem sheets, and I thought I could cut it and put it around the edge. I thought that would be really nice. So let's give it a try. I got these gem sheets at Pat Catan's when they were closing out. I think they were a few cents a piece, five or ten cents, and if you bought three or something, you got 15 free, I don't know, I don't remember. They were really cheap. So I'm going to go ahead and line it up on here. these pieces that are still sticky on the back, I'm just going to put them on the back of this other piece. And I cut an extra one just in case, but I didn't need it. So I'll set those aside. They'll go back in my bling box. And I want to make his um, or her light sparkle. And for that I have stickles. I will do each color all at the same time. So I'll start with green. Actually, I need a piece of scrap paper. I'm going to use just the back of the card. I have my green stickles. I call them stickles. These are actually Studio G. And I always like to run it off on my paper first to make sure it's okay. And I'm just going to put all the corresponding colors on the lights. Okay, and while I was at it, I used some of the icicle stickles, which I'm almost out of. I need to get more, and I put it along the bottom. And it looks kind of globby right now, but when it dries, it'll be all sparkly. All that glue in it will dry clear, and they will be really, really pretty and sparkly. So there we have that card. I think it came out really cute. Stinking cute. Okay. And next we have these two guys, and since they have a lot of glitter in them, I went ahead and went through my glitter paper, and I have these 12 by 12 sheets of glitter paper that I got at Pat Tans as well, and I went ahead and already cut a couple pieces down. This green has really a lot of neat sparkles in it. It's not a solid sparkle, there's a lot of plain green background, but it's really kind of cool, and I thought it looked really good on that card. 
and then the red matches his suit, I would say, perfectly. So I'm going to use the red on him. So let's go ahead and do these guys first. I'm going to cut the front of the card off. Actually, I'll just cut them both down at the same time. Cut out the inside. And we'll cut Mr. Santa apart. Now he has a little crease on the side here, so I'm going to give this just a trim down that side to take that crease off. That looks better. And I'm going to quickly cut this away and then I will cut out this Merry Christmas. And then later I can fussy cut this tree out and then use it on the inside of the card as well. I'll set these in, insides, the sentiments aside. And we'll line this up and make sure it looks good. Yes, make sure this one looks good. I'm actually going to take a sliver off this edge because that corner is bent. And because this is really nice glitter paper, I'm going to Turn it over get my pen or pencil or whatever and just make a couple of marks and I'm going to cut out the inside because I can use it for a die cut for something else and I just want to cut it out smaller than I need it Now this is kind of hard to do when I'm not directly looking down at it in the video. So I'm just going to trim the rest of it with my scissor. Then this piece can be used for a die cut or to even match the words on the inside. I bet that's what I'll do with it. And let's go ahead and do the same thing on this card. I kind of have an idea of how big I would need it.
Okay, there we go. That's a great way to get some more mileage out of your um, fancy paper. My Santa guy is on top, so we'll go ahead and do him first. And first I will adhere this part down. And then the Santa will go right on the top. I'm just going to put some tape on the center of the card. Then I will put some art glitter glue around the edge so it can adhere down to that glitter really, really well. If you haven't seen my Happy Mail video, you should go check it out because I got this really cool stopper topper for my um, art glitter glue from Linda, one of my viewers. She is pretty awesome. There we go. Just line him up and press it down real good. And I don't really need to do a whole lot to this card because it's already very, very glittery. I'm going to grab my bling box because there is one thing I want to do, a couple things I want to do. That and I want to put a piece of this bling. On the end of his hat. This bling I got at Dollar Tree and it is very um, kind of got a little bit of a rainbow of a color like a holographic effect. It's very pretty. And then I want to put some of this bling around his little belt buckle. So I added some bling to his belt buckle and to his hat. So he is all set. He is just ready to go deliver those Christmas presents in style. I love that red paper. It's the first time I've used it and I am so excited for it. I have this inside piece. And I'm thinking if I trim it down a little bit, I could mat it on that or just make it on a bigger red. I think I'll do it like that and mat it on that on the inside. That would be really, really festive for the inside. And again, I'm using the art glitter glue so it holds it down onto that really good. I'm going to carefully trim it because my glue is not dry yet. Maybe I should just set it aside. I'll come back and trim it because I know I'm going to mess it up. 
that's an accident waiting to happen. All right, so let's go ahead and put this down. Do the same with this. And we have this that says wishing you a Merry Christmas and I will do the same. I will Mat it on that. Let that dry a little bit. Come back to this guy and cut him out. It's still a little wet, so I was able to move it around. I just have to be careful. There we go. That one is completely dry on there. Okay, so we have our cards. I don't think I'm going to do anything much to bling them up because I don't know that I have much to bling them up. Let me see. He has candy and she has that. So I'm thinking... She needs to be giving him a candy cane, or maybe I want her to have a green one. It'll show up on the card a little bit better. That's kind of cute. She can be handing him a green one, and I have some bling for them. I'm going to have black bling that I hardly ever use. I'm going to make their eyes out of charcoal black bling. I'm hoping it'll stick. Yes, it will. And now their eyes look like little pieces of charcoal. There we go. I think they're adorable.
beautiful. Here you have it. We have these guys. I sound like I'm from New York. I almost am. These guys are over to be used guys. All right, so we have the snowman, we have the Santa, and we have the little penguin. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't come over to my Facebook group yet, the link is in the comments below. It's Create with Crafty Rhea. We all share our work there. Um, it's very, it's a starting to be a very fun group. It's a very new group, so um, please bear with us as we get started, but I'd love to have you join and be part of my crafting family over there. And um, if you ha um, haven't yet subscribed, please click the subscribe button down below. And while you're there, right next to it, just hit that thumbs up for me. And leave me a comment below and let me know what you think. Thanks again for watching. I appreciate all of you. I hope you're enjoying these videos and making your Christmas cards. I can't wait to see and hear about your creations. Thanks again for watching. It's Crafty Rhea. Bye-bye.